dream client. <laughs> okay, that was worth it for me. <laughs> but, what, but they are they're always Why running they away from, from me. <laughs> they're running away. All these dream clients. I need a dream client. Oh my god. It could be the singing. It could be the singing. You it don't could know. Be my singing. <laughs> um, I'm BJ Flag. And I'm Rich G. And this is episode 236. Who is your dream client? This reminded me actually of your dream date. There was a actual uh you know game that you could play yeah. to go on your dream date. Just oh, like yeah. that's for later. Is he a dream <laughs> or a dud? I remember that. Was it was it um, a, uh, it was a dream date? What was it? Mystery I don't know. date. Mystery, mystery date. date. Thank that was you. The one. <laughs> yeah, is he a dream or a dud? You know exactly. So, but honestly, have you ever pitched Apple or Tesla or Amazon or Walmart? You know which one I've pitched? IBM. Wow, that's nice. We had we had them for about I don't know six years. Amazing. That was a dream client. Anywho. That's- that's who you yep. need to go after. So let's have a conversation. Great, our, Rich. Dig in. Okay, our first action is, who do you love to work with? Look back and review your client history. Who are your most cherished clients? Oh, you know what? They might not actually be the most profitable, you know, or they might be. Yeah, that's the real question. Develop a list of criteria that clearly defines the who. Like, what are the the criteria? What are the areas that define a dream client for you? And, you know, could it be profitability? You know, do, do they have to love, respect your services and your product? You know, are you, you know, are they easy to get along with? It's kind of like, both humanistic and also practical. Exactly, exactly. And when you're doing the criteria, you could weight them so and change the weights to see what types of clients you really would like. So once you clearly define your dream client criteria, your DCC, you are on your way to welcoming them into your business. This is a critical first step. Yeah, it is. It's so good. You get a great feeling when you realize you spend the time doing this. Yeah. So Um, what's our second action, BJ? Where do you find them? You know, now that you know the type of company, the type of person that you've got your eyes on, where can you go to find them? You know, it's if it's a specific person, you could start with your network and begin to inquire who may know that person. You know, you might like out there, and this is going to be your strongest connection to that person. So spend the time, look at your tight, tight network and find out who may actually know that person. Yeah. And if you're active on social media, follow them and see what they're doing, what their interests are, where they went to school or where they work prior, and use that information to expand your network of connections towards them. Remember, you are looking at recreating a very warm connection, and you're not cold calling them. Yeah. And, you know, what type of setting to meet them in? What I'm trying to say there is, you know, um, we've all been on Zoom. We've had two years of just total you know, in a freeze mode. Well, now with conferences and workshops beginning to, you know, be more in person, you may luck out to be able to meet them in person. Yeah. Um, And this would be a natural setting and begin your relationship. Again, leaning on your network, your friend knows them, you know them, you both approach. It's a warm um, introduction. Absolutely. Our third action is how do you approach them? Now, this is the scariest part. Yes. One and two are easy. Who do you love to work with and where do you find them? Mm. Approaching them is the scariest part for anybody. They can have everything all set. But when you say you need to reach out to this person, they everybody shuts down. 
So most yeah. of the time, business owners are fine doing the first two actions, but this is the action that scares them away. And I'm going to be honest, it scares me away too. Okay, yeah. so you have to come up with a highly customized process to get their attention, approach them, show them how your business can help them, and then close them. Is that easy? No, it's not. No. Yeah, this is, again, not the easiest part. You know, most of the people make the mistake of approaching their targets with the same old bland sales sheets or banter, and marketing materials. No, no. Since they are um, your dream, you need to customize your pitch and make your specific marketing into sheets, brochures, booklets, anything that will engage them. Uh, and then you're going to make them feel so special. It's the best thing you can do. Because if people could smell mass mailings a mile away, they could smell that, like, here's the same old brochure that I've handed 50 other people. But when it's highly targeted and customized and specialized to you, people see that you've taken the time, you've paid attention, yeah. you understand their problems and needs, and you're there to, to fit your product or service in to help them. Right. You, you've you got the time. You should do it this way. It works fantastically. Our fourth action is what if you guessed wrong? Rich? Yes, <laughs> yes this happens. Oh, Absolutely. I I, I, this is going back about 10 years, but I was doing a series of workshops and I got this one client that I was like, oh, it's this huge corporate client. Uh, it's going to be wonderful. They paid a lot of money. I was so excited. They wanted me to come in. They saw me speak somewhere else. They said, I want you to come in and talk to my people. And so I go in and it, I thought it was going to be like, you know, 50, 75 people. And I go into this room and it's a, 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 a like a quarterly status <laughs> meeting with four people in the room. And oh it's my. dark and it's, oh. it ran from two in the afternoon till five. It was about a three hour <laughs> workshop. And halfway through, two of the people fell asleep. This has never <laughs> happened to me. So I don't know, I, they were just tired or they had a big lunch or something. And oh. I'm presenting to like two people that are awake and the other oh two are out. And I said, this is not my dream client. This I don't <laughs> want to do business like this again. Um, I had one, um, again, going back a couple of years, it's, it was a chain of fast, casual Mexican restaurants. Uh -huh. all, all fresh food. So it was kind of like on the dawn of being able to have that fresh food experience, but you're not eating, you know, yes. uh, McDonald's food. You know what I mean? It was, it was really, I was so excited. I was so excited. I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be, this is my dream. I prepared all the stuff. I, you know, we made our like little intro presentations and tacos we just like went overboard, total overboard, loved them, thought of all these like really cool things that we could do. And we go to meet them in a static conference room at their place. And they were so B2B. They all their thinking was B2B. Yep. And we're like, wait a minute, you're B2C. And no, nope, nothing, not going to do it. No, we're not going to have a creative bone in our body we're not going to think of your creative ideas and I, I was dumbfounded and they were approaching us about um you know expanding great lease going from like four to 24 in yes. a matter of you know 18 months kind of thing it's always that big dream and i was like it's not gonna happen it's and we left that meeting knowing that they weren't going to be able to do it. We were so sad. You should have seen us. We were like, we want to open up our own restaurant because, you know, you're so devoted to yeah. the dream and wanting that client to be who you think you are going to meet. And yeah, oh, it goes they were, and, and the, I think the deal was, you know, they're not going to be fun 
working with. They're actually right. probably going to be on the other end of the spectrum. They're going to be uh, painful. They're going to, they're not going to get it. You're going to try and take them to a new world and it's going to be dragging them through the sand to get oh, them there. Yeah. And yeah. it's going to be painful. So yeah. anyway, that's just a, a little look-see at what can go. You can guess wrong, pick yeah. yourself up, keep moving, guess, dream another one, and, and go after them. It's the best thing you can do for your business. It energizes you. Yeah, and, and if not, just charge them a lot more. So there Boom, you go. Job done. <laughs> so our resource today is an incredible book. I've used it a lot. I've recommended it to clients. It's called Get Clients Now with an exclamation point, a 28 day marketing program for professionals and consultants. And it's by CJ Hayden, H-A-Y-D-E-N. It's a great book. It's helped thousands of independent professionals dramatically increase their client base by learning how to replace scattershot marketing and networking efforts with proven and targeted tactics. What I what I love about this is it uses kind of like a um, uh, cookbook uh, a cookbook model, and the book helps the reader identify the ingredients that are missing within their current marketing activities, and then they can select the right strategies and tools from the menu of options. So obviously, it's totally up my market. I love love the way that they put all the little components together. Yeah, and, and my favorite part is the tips for dealing with fear resistance and procrastination these this is huge because this is this me. is a rereadable and, chapter and if, <laughs> if i'm speaking to you and you're finding fear resistance and procrastination and reaching right. out to your dream clients you need this book uh, absolutely um i i love it for all the worksheets the exercises not for nothing i've taken a couple of sheets out and handed it to somebody who i knew never needed it this is a great book for kind of taking nuggets out and keeping them. So awesome, awesome book. Um, we have a great promo today. He's yeah. one of our premium promos. If you want to fill your client list with dream clients, you need Rich to help you find, connect, acquire, retain, and sell them through more services. Have a chat with Rich at richg.com. And we have another premium uh, promo. Uh, in this age of digital marketing, your ability to tailor your marketing to a specific prospect is mandatory. You need an innovative team to help propel your business to your new dream clients. Reach out to BJ at New Renew Brand Marketing at N-U-R-E-N-U.com. <gasps> Thank you to our producer and king of creative, Richard Scazzo, who constantly amazes us with his creativity and great ideas, bringing you the best small business podcast every Tuesday. Have an unbelievable week and catch you later.